Hello, this is our third and final segment of the Edgenuity Orientation, and it's okay if you're overwhelmed. I was too, as I told you at the introduction last summer. I spent hours every day on my front porch going through this program, watching videos, reading knowledge articles, but I really did not learn the program until I utilized it on a daily basis. So relax, you'll be fine. We are GCSC teachers. We adapt. That is what we do, and you will do fine. What we are going to talk about here are what's called guided notes. Once again, I am in my student account, so if I click on the icon for the course map, each unit in the course map has a blue header. If you click on the blue header, you can see the objectives, standards, transcript, the time it will take to complete the lesson, the number of activities in the lesson, and over on the right-hand side, it says view guided notes. Now, I will caution you, not all courses have guided notes. I would say probably 75 to 80% of them do. It is something that Edgenuity is working on. But if the student clicks on view guided notes, they get a set of notes that they can fill in while they are watching the lesson. I have used these guided notes. I have had students use these guided notes. And when we were shut down due to the pandemic last spring and during the summer, if I had a student that was struggling, I printed the guided notes, I filled them in, and I sent them to the student and told them if they were not using these, then they were not going to be successful. And I can almost guarantee you, if your student does use the guided notes and does it properly, they will be successful when time comes to take a quiz or a test. The teacher also has access to these guided notes. Let me get out of my student account. Get back in my educator account. And what you can do here is you go to Courses and Course Structures. And again, let's pick one here. Let's do, um, we'll do this English 7A Initial Credit. Here, Guided Notes. So if you're here, you can click Guided Notes, and you will see the same thing that a student does. The one thing I like about this section is if you click on the unit header, once again, here are the objectives, here are the guided notes, but here is a teacher version of the guided notes. So if you just wanted to print out your the teacher version, that can be done as well. But guided notes are a great feature that Edgenuity is working on. And I highly recommend that you become familiar with the guided notes and make sure your students are using them as well. One other thing that Edgenuity has in course structures is if you go to, again, courses, we can either go manage courses or course structures. Here we will go course structures. They have it broken down by subject, and also by semester. So if we look at English Language Arts 7, English Language Arts 7, this one right here is the whole course. English Language Arts 7A is first semester. English Language Arts 7B is the second semester. And if you notice, underneath it, there is a CR, which stands for Credit Recovery. If you have a student who has maybe failed this class 
and they're having to retake it, you can assign them the credit recovery option, which takes out a few of the items in the initial credit, but 99% of the curriculum is the same. So again, we have the option of the entire course, first semester, second semester, and also credit recovery. We have also talked about impersonating a student, but I want to go over that once again. So if I go to students, many students, and if I go down to my account, again, I'm going to click my radio button, scroll back up. Again, we can view courses, look at the progress report, my session log. I can add courses. I can update their profile, but over here on the more button, I can change the grade level. I can archive the student if they are done. And under account security, I can impersonate the student. So again, if I impersonate the student, it's going to tell me that I am entering an impersonation session. I'm going to continue. It's going to bring me right to that student's account. But once again, anything I do while I am impersonating that student, that student will get credit for that. So really be careful when you are using an impersonation session. Probably the best time to use this is maybe you are doing a Google Meet and you want to pull up the quiz and go over that quiz with the student one-on-one, -on -one, then I would highly recommend that you use an impersonation session. And to simply end it, you simply end the impersonation session and it will bring you right back to your home page. A couple of things we talked about as well. Remember the dashboard. We can access it here or we can access it here. The dashboard, you should have that up most of the time. And it is where you're going to be able to see all of your students. And if there is anything that needs your attention, their progress, whether they are if it is red, it simply means that they are behind. And also you can change due dates, target dates, jump directly to customizing the course or editing the options and various things there as well. Manage sessions. I don't know if we talked about manage sessions. Uh, so if we go to reports and we go manage current sessions. We're probably not gonna see anything just like Meredith Ball is on. But what this is, is all the students that are on at the time that you manage the current sessions. One thing Edgenuity does is again, it will log a student out automatically if they are inactive for a certain period of time. But what I will do is normally about five minutes after a class ends, and I know a student is not on Edgenuity anymore, I will go in here and I will simply close that student out. That way it is not showing inaccurate idle time. So again, manage sessions, you would simply go report, manage current sessions, and you can see who is on the last time they had uh, an action in their course, and if need be, you can close it out. The one thing that I want to show you that we have not talked about, and I saved it to the last on purpose, is the support site. Edgenuity has a phenomenal support site. So if you click on support, you can do a chat if necessary. But if you click on Help Center, this is what you will get. Okay, You can act, ask a specific question. You can take a tour of the Help Center. But here are fundamentals on grading, on managing a student account, classroom resources, communication tools, help center resources. So let's say we want to do um, a managing courses. Click on it. And there are articles about managing courses. So status tabs. What we talked about here are the status tabs. If you do not want to read, again, you can go to the support site. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. 
and there is a video library. I was in this video library hours last summer. If I have any question, this is the first place I go. So again, click on the video library. And once it populates, there are videos that you can watch. So there's an orient there's an educator orientation video which is very good. Student orientation if you want to know what the student is watching. How to add a student, how to modify a student. A lot of these things that we went through but not in great detail, you can simply come to this video library and watch as many times as necessary. This completes our Edgenuity orientation. Hopefully I have been successful in giving you the basics of what you need to be a successful teacher advisor as we roll into this virtual school during the 2020-21 academic year. I do want to tell you I am here to help. I will do whatever is necessary to make sure that you're successful and that your students are successful. So please do not hesitate to contact me at Greencastle High School or via our school generated email. Thank you for taking this on and doing what we can to service the students in Greencastle Community School Corporation. I hope this goes well and wish you luck.